Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a union read for you that combines the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine into one full read. Um, I'm going to get right into it. I don't have a whole lot of time today, um, but I am going to get this out. There were some amazing messages coming through again, as usual, recently. Um, it is January 26, 2019. 26 is the page of wands. So it's that spirit of the teenage boy, you know, excited and inspired and maybe um, someone who'd like to ask someone out on a date or to get together to talk. So it's very nice energy as well as the day adding up to 39.3, which is the Knight of Cups, which is an offer of love or someone who's just very loving to most people that they encounter. So it's very beautiful energy between the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups. The Page of Wands being the eight energy of, of manifesting your dreams, its inner and outer strength of staying at zero point, staying balanced, not not going too far away from the center, okay? And then the three of expressing yourself, your authentic self, okay? So, getting right into it. I'm going to see a, a matinee today with my sister for her birthday today. It was just 111 too. Um, and I was woken up early this morning by them uh, cutting up trees across the street, which I'm glad it's being done, but, you know, they were starting a little bit early on a Saturday, so... <laughs> Just saying, there's some uh, interruptions in our lives today, okay? Alrighty. The, um, the spread was done at 9.24. And the major arcana were, and this is the Syrian Starseed deck for the main deck, Transition, Strength, Solar, Ascension, Karma, Shadow, and Guidance. So a lot of major arcana here, okay? Um, in this deck, transition is death, strength is strength, solar, solar deity is the sun, ascension is the world, karma is judgment, shadow is the devil, and guidance is the hierophant. There are two pentacles, one cup, one sword, no wands for the union today. Um, however, it is a page of wands day today, and, I, and 26 was coming up for me uh, multiple times this week. I told you about that already, and today is the 26th. So uh, not much in numbers came up today either, except for 2, 5, and 10, which came up in that, I'm trying to remember what it was, that it, um, something to do with uh, Yeshua and numbers that I brought up at one point, and that, there was some sequence there in, in the history of 2, 5, and 10 re revolving around Yeshua and the coding. So five, and I was... This is coming up again for me today, 2, 5, and 10. If I can find it in my notes, I'll go back and bring it up on the next installment. But it was all about the number 5, or expansion, change, freedom, expression. Um, you know, 5 is all about change. Uh, 2, 11 also came up here, and that was it for the numbers. Um, the coding was all about time out and creativity. So it's time out to be creative. Okay, and there's uh, some parenting coming up even more so for the union. So this is not only, the, the spread really wasn't about kids so much. There is some kid stuff in the underlying energies, but it was more about your own inner child and maybe you with your parents. Or, so there's some kind of parenting in that respect coming up. Um, to see the key in I and state your high, vibra your high vibration, that expansion energy, and also fitness was coming up. So to the nth degree, to stay fit and support yourself with strength and take a time out. So maybe if you want to work out, um, do some running or walking, just whatever you do, swim, yoga, whatever. But it might be time out to build up your strength. Um, and it was interesting because when I put the code in online, it came up with four, four, not 144, but for 11,000 results, like right on the even 411,000 results, you know, for it to come out right on the thousand was, was kind of cool. So I'm just going to read through the coding headings real quick. First trust senior floating rate at it's 2022 target term fund. So that's an FIV from ftportfolios.com and that's a European fund. Marine Corps um, recon training, the five toughest skills to master was a heading. So again, it was all about discipline, strength, resolve, and sense of purpose. It was just 444. Um, Seeker, Legend of the Five Rings came up, Wiki, 
Um, and there's something in there about you can replace the province while deck building. So somebody might be building a deck. Um, TR flashcards came up on Quizlet, and then Strength Master Product came up. The only strength training programs you'll ever need. Okay, and that was End of Three Fitness. Um, VINVIZ.com came up. It's a, star, a stock screener as well as ICE, but it was small I and then capital CE 40. LP slash HX, family data sheet, and that was from Lattice Semi and from DigiKey. DigiKey. And the last heading was Assess the Strengths and Limitations of Business, and that was from ResearchGate.net. And some just random ones other than that were um, Mass Day, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it was on YouTube. It's M A S T E came up, as well as Google header came up, as well as Stairmaster. So if that references any of you, let me know below in the comments. And thank you all so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments below. Please do so. Please subscribe if you'd like to get my notifications. And it certainly helps. And um, also, you know, share your likes and your comments and share the video with others if you like it. Okay? Um, and also, again, below is my website and my, my email if you should need my services. So there's coaching and I do numerology as well as the tarot card reads, and I am a Reiki master. So if you need any healing done, um, I'm, I'm really good at the physical healing stuff, especially um, distance healing. I'm very good at that. So if you need any of my services, just let, let me know. I'm going to get right into the read. Um, and I want to forget about my CD too, Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames. It's on all the major places, iTunes, Google Play, CD Baby, Amazon, okay? So if you'd like to buy one of my songs, that's a great way to support me. Okay, it's only a dollar. So if, if you'd like to do that, that's available as well. Okay, so getting right into the read, the underlying energy is the portal energy. The death card in this deck is transition, and it's literally a picture of someone walking through a portal. So the portal relates to shining um, your light without ego. No affection may slow the wheel. In transition, there's news or message or a small conversation that comes out that shining light, healing, or dreams for the emperor who's, who may be out of control and no affection, um, he may be feeling like, what's the point? Okay, and this energy is on the death card, so the transition card. So it may be um, some masculines going through the dark night of the soul, could be the feminines as well, but it's more towards the masculine energy. Or there could be an Aquarian father or grandfather who passes and a child who is hiding or vacillating about their destiny. The King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is a theme throughout this whole read, not just the recent past position, which the main card was in, but the King of Pentacles came up several more times near the outcome uh, card, okay? So the King of Pentacles goes through transformation, possible entrapment by family using sex and or pregnancy to entrap into a marriage for money, and this could be currently or something that happened in the past, okay? choosing a new life path with a new love or pure love, or a young child or Pisces is looking for peace with their mother, but feeling trapped or in prison, or a message of love that's offered as a new life path. There's a mother or mother figure or older woman of power, so the Empress energy here, is trying to find peace on shaky ground, emotional water using their head instead of their heart. Anxiety causes a prison for her. Keep your eye on the ball or orange, so high C and orange came up again, so make sure you, you take more vitamin C, especially when you're feeling anxious or stressed, uh, while tied up on rough seas. Cleaning up by the fence, or possibly raking the yard or shoveling, or meditating with heart focus. The Empress and her inner child looking for peace in prison and needs to transition while the Emperor is out of control moving through a portal. His inner child his inner child is coming up as swords, like the page of swords, and the divine feminine's inner child is coming up as the page of cups. So her in in her inner child emotions and him in his inner child, always in his head and being logical, right? So burdens out displayed. In need of home or family repairs, the King of Wands reversed is at odds with Earth Capricorn child. It doesn't have to be Capricorn, but Earth, but Capricorn was mostly coming up here. So the King of Wands reverse may be at odds with a Capricorn or Earth child who is ungrounded or in need of opportunity to learn, manifest, or invite, or get an invitation to fix things and bring emotional happiness for all. 
to free the empress or the emperor and child from prison, pregnancy, or abortion, or anxiety, or someone literally just got out of prison and is starved for affection. Curtains and ceilings need fixing, and little lizard on platform or making too much noise upstairs, and may need orange and yellow colors. Um, and also these kids may be expecting money to appear out of thin air or somebody else. Kids and dad making everything appear perfect on the outside when there's actually turmoil within the family. A wedding comes up as the underlying energy, which just means that this, is, that this situation involves marriage. But beneath that is true love, that this is a romance of a lifetime. So the true love existed, but it's bringing up the fact that there's a marriage involved here. So red hair, sweets, pink, blood red, and tweets, and rod iron gates, or creative ironwork or brickwork is on display as the king of wands is being affectionate with blood with a yellow coat I was getting like blood red being affectionate with blood but it could be a blood relative as well and a yellow coat the emperor The Emperor's dreaming of this, that he were yellow and not so much red, while Trophy Bride is getting all the light. He thinks of feet, maybe specifically a right foot or an ankle, to get a handle on the truth of his own armor, um, sharp yet smooth, pure as ivory silk. There's a right limp wrist and cheek to cheek, both with brown hair and a flame that they share. A fruit plate on the floor and metal throne, a metal throne, so someone might have thrown metal as well, but a metal throne was coming up with carving that matches his knees and lineage in shape, but not color. Origami's discarded. The queen of wands is trying to seduce him with her green robe and camel boots and corset, pushing the boobs right out while in separation, red tulips stand between heads in the window. Okay, so take that as it resonates with you. So it may literally be that someone has red tulips between two heads in a window, or however, it may come through for you. Or it just could be a um, metaphor for that. So, and, and also is referencing animals outside. So whether they be animals or somebody considers the neighborhood you live in as, a, as a, uh, animals, okay? So that was coming up as outside. The king, of queen, the king and queen of wands are bored. The queen may, be, may have cheated with the emperor on the king of wands. The key is red tulips or pomegranate or strawberry dessert. So that may be a key to who that is, okay? Um, compassion comes up as very important as well as nature for the union. The queen of swords is truthful and has the light and the emperor reverse is not using his intuition or that the secret's out about her a gold funnel or Victrola horn with old inner workings, um, possibly Virgo or Aries energies around this. The emperor's time is up or over. Judgment day of the patriarchy is taken over by the winged emerald order. Pre the presidential seal deliberating feminine replacement and or announcements. So I, I don't usually get anything about the government, but I wasn't just getting this on the lower scale of family community, but I was getting literally uh, what it looks like when the president makes an announcement like the presidential seal behind him and the flag and stuff that's the image i was getting that's but that there's a feminine possible feminine replacement so i don't know if he's stepping down or or if there's someone in the office who's being replaced with a feminine but that was coming up in the energies here as underlying um, leader uh, with poor decision making old-fashioned steam engine put to rest by feminine legal team Transition of those entrapped by families with poor intentions in offices and marriages with weak foundations, making the way for true love and compassion. So recently, the King of Pentacles is completely exposed with an offer of help boldly coming in from those that he took from and or took down. The truth is now out. And it was just 1441 as well, which is that um, Temperance and Ace of Cups. That comes up a lot, the 1441 reflection. 
So temperance is the angel card of patience, okay? And also the Ace of Wands, of course, is of self-love and new love, spiritual love. So the foundation for the read, for the union, is brain wars. It was the Five of Swords, over-isolated and left behind, left out or left injured, abandoned or rejected, which you know are some of our big wounds, coming out from being prisoner of marriage, not working, or just overworking to align, or can't focus due to anxiety. Centrally for the union, at the heart, in their hearts, is emotional fulfillment, the Ten of Chalices, but it can also revolve around family, but it's chaotic as the King of Pentacles' life, starting over in love after bored, dumping love, or just drained completely, uh, drained emotionally completely after getting rid of emotional attachments or no, that are no longer serving them. Inspired by the Queen of Pentacles, conflict and stress, expansion and purging as her truth came up. The union challenge is all about strength and that came up in the coding as well. To make sure you, it's not just about inner strength but also physical strength. So you might want to, you know, build yourself up a little bit because that helps you um, with longevity as far as strength. You know, when you're, phys when, you're fi when you're physically fit, it helps you go longer, especially with emotional and uh, mental stress, okay? So the challenge is that strength, okay? It could be Leo or Sagittarius coming up here too. To boldly go forward to end pain and betrayal with the secret out or not using your intuition and in either way in need of attention. Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, and Aquarius can all be energies revolving this situation. The angels manifest from sinks and their guidance, their dreams and healing. There are no real options but to shine your light. Now in the union head or, the, or crowning the union is the solar deity. Full exposure of protection of King of Cups and sexually frustrated or creatively frustrated Queen of Wands with Queen of Pentacles reversed and King of Cups reversed, and this could all be one person. The Queen of Wands can be the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the King of Cups reversed. All could be her. Or they could be three, two or three separate people, okay? So Queen of Wands was upright, but just like she's feels like she's in the right. And then the Queen of Pentacles is reversed and the King of Cups is reversed, but they're all attached to her, so it could be her. Which could be, you know, she's ungrounded or she's lost money or she's greedy. And then the King of Cups is about... Um, being an emotionally emotional manipulator or being emotionally detached with no feelings. Okay, so some kind of heartbreak, three-way heartbreak, with the King of Swords is out of luck, and he's upright as well, yet he feels in the right. Okay, so this could be between the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands um, may be seeking protection from the King of Cups reversed and his fantasy. An angel finds peace being patient. Um, Leo or Leo Ursine may be protecting themselves from a King of Cups stalker. She threw out for talking to High Priestess Angel in 5D, nightmare of energy harvesting, and thinking of what of others while with her. Okay, so this could definitely be the karmic energy. Exposing fantasy connection lover to Libra to get justice or in court to get offer of money for her lack of peace due to the King of Pentacles chasing girls or pretending to be a superhero for others, okay? So this is still about the Queen of Wands energy, pursuing something, okay? So soon, with ascension and the end of a cycle, by the new moon, there's happiness on their own um, for the union, back to juggling and performing and creating new patterns, ending pain about others together to heal and dream about options or see synchronicities and getting over loss and sadness of energy stealing and angel nightmare. There's possibly, there's some arrogance about deception to continue juggling the same old patterns, performing like a monkey to harvest others' energies, not dropping the facade, okay? So that's for some, there may be someone who were still resisting and, and just still, you know, performing for tricks, basically. So the union is karma and judgment, a call to action, as wake-up call to connect to higher self. Injustice of the wounded warrior and Queen of Pentacles reversed, and freedom from dysfunctional family legacy. So right now it's coming through with um, uh, the cards that came out from Romance Angels for the Union was Express Your Love, Keep an Open Mind, 
forgiving and learning and worth waiting for. And when I was looking at worth waiting for, I was definitely getting angel wings. So somebody's waiting for their angel wings. Divine masculine and divine feminine both may be ungrounded today or yesterday. Okay, the energy is coming forward, feeling bad for themselves and feeling that victim mentality coming in and pain. Seems someone may have had a purge yesterday or today by judging self through judging twin. Okay, so whatever you say to your twin, you're saying to yourself, don't forget that. So around the union or how it is seen is the shadow with the queen of wands in between. Death and transition meets messenger of truth for heated exchange with possible sharp words or silent treatment. And 1111, uh, lots of swords and expression of passions to allow full transformation of shadow sides. For the union, both of you, masculine and feminine, clear blocks around marriage, guidance, divorce, all right? So people don't believe in marriage or divorce. You need to clear those opinions, okay? You have to have no expectations. So clear any issues you have with those things of detoxing, of intense emotional purging, that there's something wrong with that, and something wrong with true connection or that you don't believe in true connection. All of these things need to go, all right? Time out, creativity, and even more so parenting comes up. But like I said before, there is some parenting that needs to be done. It was this 2112. Okay, so parenting needs to be done, whether it's with your children, with your inner child, or your parents, okay? There's a new life with casual flirting after the King of Pentacles leaves nightmare situation with no affection and leaps to the empress who may be who may be no better it could be a controlling mother or a control freak or it could be it could be the divine feminine um, to surrender to truth and bad decisions this is both okay and loss of money and status uh, could be someone who is being greedy for more money okay so surrendering all that the king of pentacles in, is inspired to propose riding impassionately thinking someone is crying and wants to propose love, okay? It literally ends on the Knight of Cups after the Knight of Pentacles, who actually is like a proposal card offering a crystal, okay? So it's very, it ends in very beautiful energies. Going through portal of brain wars, fighting with yourself, at war with yourself, and it could be being taken down by others or you taking down someone else, right, before they get you. Anxiety issues and judgment of shadow side. The King of Pentacles family the challenge being the strength to complete the situation of marriage, guidance, and or divorce for total exposure and happiness, high energy, and surrender to proposal of love. Okay. Um, I have a little bit of time to pull a few oracle cards, but I might not pull all of them. Um, I'll do a session deck. Everyone take a deep breath. So today is January 26, 2019. Um, for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all those concerned, what is it that we need to know? <sighs> what is it we need to learn? Okay, okay. Well, actually, four came out. I'm not going to read them all, but 12 chakras came out is the underlying energy, number one. Okay, that's the magician. 12 chakras says I awaken my 12 fifth dimensional chakras. So you might want to clear your chakras. And if you don't know the 12 chakras, you might want to look them up. The cards that came out for you guys, we have whoop, cosmic heart number nine, which is the hermit energy. We have the unicorns number 22, which is the fool taking a leap of faith. And we have Serapis Bay, which is 41, which is the ace of cups, which we talked about already. And then we also have 24, which is the Queen of Wands, which we also talked about today. Um, you know what? I'm just going to tell you the affirmations for each of those, because I've read them a lot of times before, so most of you have probably heard them before. Then I'll read um, one of the Journey of Love cards. But the Cosmic Heart, or the Nine Hermit Energy, is I am the Cosmic Heart, and that has to do with, you know, just making sure you stay in your heart. The Venus is the, the heart of the universe. Mother Mary comes up here as well, so you might want to ask for her energy. Um, with the unicorns, they're seventh dimensional, so you might want to uh, tune with them. It helps um, purify your energy. Um, they talk about dignity, confidence, and strength. Okay, so strength comes up again. 
Um, they grant wishes to those who are pure of heart. So ask them to bring something significant to you now. Uh, Serapis Bay uh, works with Archangel Metatron to suffuse the Great Pyramid with cosmic wisdom energy at the time of its construction. Okay, he has to do with wisdom, cooperation, dedication to you. He's the only master to work with the Seraphim, so they will shower you with blessings as you tune to this Ascension card. Okay, Serapis Bay. The affirmation is, I walk with Serapis Bay. And Lemurian healing is, I send Lemurian healing to Earth. Okay, and they're fifth dimensional androgynous beings. And they drew the love of God through the cosmic heart into this planet. Okay. So we're talking about crystals too. You might want to uh, focus on using some crystals today. Try them out if you haven't and done it in a while. And it talks about coming together with uh, two or more people in crystals to do healing work. All right, so now for the past life deck. Take another deep breath. 25, it was just 25.52, and that is the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so somebody passionately writing in for the Queen of Swords. Clear it along. And actually, I know somebody with that address. I think it's 25.52 or 52.25, and then somebody else with 25.25. Actually, two people. My son's address is 25.25 also. Okay, so... January 26, 2019. For everyone watching for the best and highest good of all is concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Okay. Just two. Okay, we have scribe or writer on the bottom as the underlying energy. Okay. So that's to do with writing. Okay. Maybe making something creative writing wise and wrapping it up with a seal and a candle, maybe making a bracelet. There's a, a bracelet using beads. Um, you guys got phobias, as well as trust and faith. It's all about calling your angels if you need them. Trust and faith, let the sun shine through, and then health. Okay, so that was coming up big time as far as um, strength today, to build up your health, your immunity, uh, your strength in general without fear, okay? Phobia is all about fear. And this whole journey is about um, ridding ourselves of fear and ego, okay? You're, I just wanna remind you today, love, fear. Mutually exclusive, can't be in both. So which one do you choose? Whenever you go into fear, it's an illusion. You're not in the right place. You need to go back to love, which means center yourself in your heart again, connect with your higher self, okay? So if you need any medical treatment, make sure to get it addressed. Have faith and let go of fear. And it's saying to, uh, on phobias, okay, this creates a circuit because you have chakras in your hands. You can open them up. You can use them for healing, but also you complete your own circuit when you do this, all right? So if when you want to do some healing, you might want to close your circuit or when you're praying, okay? And then let me just get something from the journey of love for you guys. Take another deep breath. Clear it along. Clear it along. Okay. So January 26, 2019, for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Okay, the bottom is intimacy 35, which is the wounded warrior. Mag Mary Magdalene comes up as this number as well. Okay, it's all about intimacy, so don't forget that. That's another eight. Stay at zero point. And remember, it's about, it's about affection, true intimacy. Being close with someone, regardless of their imperfections. And even more so because of. Um, these three cards came up. I don't, I don't have time to read them all. All right, but we have these three. Rings of time. Burning, burning hero and, and the swan. Okay, so it's, the swan is very much about, you know, the ugly duckling that became a swan and the purity in your imperfections. And that's 67, which is the Knight of Pentacles, which we have at the end of the, the read here. The end card was actually the Two of Pentacles, which is the surrender in this deck, 
but it leads into the Knight of Pentacles offering a crystal, okay, looking right at you. Okay, so we have the 67 of the Knight of Pentacles, the 3 of the Empress, which is also in the read multiple times and appears at the end of the read, and then 44, which is that mastering. And it's also Atlas and Rings of Time. The weight of the world upon your shoulder and that energy of the Four of the four of Cups. Okay, so it's either, it can be boredom, but it also can be grounding and integrating, feeling sorry for yourself, okay, which I told you did come up that energy today. So... I'm going to read Rings of Time for you. That's number 44, okay? Because 44 has been coming up constantly for you guys. Okay. Rings of Time says, Divine timing is granted to us as a gift. Sometimes if we want to be further ahead than, we, than where we are, the gift can seem like a restriction rather than a generous holding. Much like traffic that moves systematically so that not only one car but many can reach their destina destination according to a greater harmony and alignment, we are like individual cars that must sometimes accept red lights and at other times flow swiftly through many green lights. And it is just this way. This systematic flow of energy, of divine energy, through human manifestation. Your spiritual maturation is happening perfectly. There's no need to bother yourself about timing. When doors open, walk through. It was just 31, 13. And 31 is that five of wands, expansion energy. And then 13, of course, is the portal, the transformation, transition, depth, okay? When you walk through that portal, when there appears to be no such openings, rest and reflect. The rings of time serve you, beloved. This oracle brings you a message. <sighs> that the divine is completely responsible for the timing of every event, opportunity, and happening of grace in your life. All you need to do is live your life. Everything else is taken care of for you now. This applies to all of your plans and the unfolding of all of your relationships. Let it all breathe and let the divine happen as it will. And the poem reads, There is a beautiful silence now as I hold your hands and listen to your eyes across a span of moments called time. There are no words that say as much, nor walls that could define or could confine the wings of our feelings or the rhythm of our eyes. Make sure to be good to yourselves, okay? Just live your life. Find happiness. Rise and be loved.